Hi fellow travelers and it's me your travel angel. In this video, we're heading to New Orleans to celebrate my birthday. What are the things to do and see in New Orleans, Louisiana? Well, allow me to show them to you. Welcome back to Angel's Video Diary and the last video I showed you our trip to Houston and now we're heading to New Orleans. So it was about an hour flight from Houston to New Orleans and we also flew first class which was one of the many surprises of Edward for my birthday. And then we got to the airport, we got a lift. It was about 40 to an hour drive from the airport to our hotel. And as soon as we pulled up in front of the hotel, it started to rain really hard. Ah, it's raining. And good thing we were able to check in early because the rain didn't stop until after an hour. So let's talk about where to stay in New Orleans. We checked in at Hotel Mazarin, which is, I believe, one of the best spots to stay here in the city. But just a heads up, depending on the season, it might be expensive. It's usually around $500 a night, but we actually got it for $100 a night. What I love about this hotel is the courtyard with a nice fountain in the middle. There are tables and chairs outside where you can enjoy your breakfast or you can, you know, just stay here and rest for a while or maybe snap some photos as well. And by the way, as soon as you exit the hotel, Bourbon Street is gonna be right outside. It's like 10 steps away, so it's super close. And now let's talk about Bourbon Street. Bourbon Street is a go-to place for live music and it stretches 13 blocks of numerous bars and strip clubs. So during the day, it's actually looking pretty dead. People are most likely asleep, still recovering from a night of partying and drinking, but the street really comes alive at night. So you can experience jazz, blues, reggae, and country music all in one place. All right, so we started our stroll around the city and we walked from our hotel to Cafe du Monde. And you never leave New Orleans without trying their famous beignets with, of course, Cafe Au Lait. And you can pretty much get beignets anywhere here. But the famous, and I should say the best for me, is the one at Cafe du Monde. And their hot chocolate is equally good as well. And you know, a lot of the famous sites in New Orleans are just a walking distance from each other. Our next stop is the French Market, which is a popular destination here in New Orleans. It's an open air market, a great spot to walk. You can shop and also try out new food. Actually, for me, I believe it's cheaper to buy souvenir items here at the French Market compared to the shops and boutiques around the French Quarter. Here, you'll also get to experience great food, you'll find local products, and like I said, lots of souvenir items as well. So before you reach the French Market, you'll pass by this gold monument. And I'm talking about the Joan of Arc statue, also known as the Maid of Orleans. And it was a gift to New Orleans from France. The statue was erected here in 1972. An Angel's fun fact, Joan of Arc is considered as the patron saint of New Orleans. And by the way, visiting New Orleans in the summer means extreme hot weather. So you'll definitely want some water or cold drinks. We had to stop by Cafe Beignet to get us some refreshments. Cafe Beignet is another popular spot to get beignets and coffee. And it's also a highly recommended incident Instagram photo spot. We did get more beignets here the next day and here we are with some clips and photos of our experience. And by the way, they also serve good breakfast meals here as well. You know, just in case you want to take a break from eating beignets. And after that, we went back to the French Quarter to visit Jackson Square. Jackson Square is a historic park located in the French Quarter. This is the location where back in the year 1803, Louisiana became a United States territory. 
and we continued our tour and we crossed the street from the French Quarter to check out the Steamboat Natchez. We wanted to take the cruise and board the Steamboat Natchez, but when we saw how much it is, we decided to do something else. We thought we have more places to visit anyway. Plus, we don't want to go over our budget. In the meantime, enjoy this breathtaking view of the Mississippi River, which is going to be one of the highlights if you ever decide to do the Steamboat Natchez tour. I think I'm going to mention this over and over again throughout this video because it was extremely hot in July and it's summer when we visited New Orleans. So the weather was pretty humid. We wanted to get something to help cool us down. And so when we stumbled on Kilwins, we immediately went in and got a coffee ice cream. And after our yummy dessert, we went to Mr. Ed's Seafood and Oyster House for some delicious gumbo and raw oysters. Now, gumbo is actually another cuisine that I would recommend and something that you should also try when visiting New Orleans. After that, we went back to our hotel to freshen up a bit and do a Google search to find where to get the best hurricane in town. And one of the recommendations, which was on top of Google's list, was Lafitte's Blacksmith Shop. It was a little too dark inside the restaurant, although the lounge type of bar they have is what I extremely enjoyed. So they have nice live music and a great vibe as well. And Hurricane is a famous alcohol drink in New Orleans. So if you like rum with a fruity flavor, then you will enjoy drinking a Hurricane. And to be honest, I like the Hurricane at Pat O'Brien's, which I'm going to share with you a little bit later on. So you have to stick around for that. If you guys are new here, make sure to subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I would post new content. Now, we wanted to try more drinks and we stumbled on this bar, which is called Copper Monkey Grill. So we went inside, it was pretty small, but it has that intimate kind of vibe. And the bartender recommended that we try a drink called Spank the Monkey. And it was really good. Also pretty strong, so we had to call it a night. The next day, we attended mass at St. Louis Cathedral for my birthday. St. Louis Cathedral is the oldest and still operating Roman Catholic Cathedral in North America and it is located right here at the French Quarter. You know, for the past couple of years, it seems like it always rained on my birthday wherever I go. Last year, we were in New York and it also rained in July during summer, which is why I always have a backup plan. After church, it rained hard, so we went to the museum, which is located right next to St. Louis Cathedral. An angel's travel tip. You should visit a museum when it rains on your trip. So if you want to learn about the history of Louisiana, then you should visit the Presbyter Museum. Admission here is $7 per adult. If you want to save some money, you'll get 20% off if you go to two or more museums. And you should also check the website to plan your visit here. Link is in the description box below. And we also went to Cafe Du Monde gift shop and we got some pralines. And one of the locals told us that it is pronounced as Pralines, I think. Anyway, we also got some beignet mix, which we have been making for the past weeks now, and it's so good. Okay, so earlier I talked about Hurricane, right? Hurricane is a famous alcohol drink here in New Orleans, and we're gonna go to Pat O'Brien's to get their famous Hurricane. So what's in it? There's rum and fruit flavors, and all you need to know is that it is really good. So if you wanna get wasted in New Orleans, then you should definitely get yourself a Hurricane. And of course, we also got some food here, something to munch on while we're enjoying our Hurricane. And on our way back to our hotel from Pat O'Brien's, we stumbled on the Musical Legends Park, which is located on Bourbon Street. The park features statues of jazz legends. Here you can experience live music while you enjoy a delicious meal as well. And Edward made reservations at Revolution to celebrate my birthday dinner. And Revolution is actually just across from our hotel. And just a heads up, it's fine dining, so it's going to be very expensive. I think we paid a little over $200 for the entire meal, from the drinks to the appetizer, entree. 
And then I also got some complimentary dessert from them, but we added ice cream as well. And you know, it's one of the best dining experiences I've had. The next day, we woke up early and had breakfast at our hotel. So we wouldn't have to waste time figuring out where to eat. I wasn't really hungry, so I only got some fresh fruits and coffee. And then I had a little of what Edward ordered. Now, first on the agenda before we head back to the airport for our 4 p.m. flight was Longview House and Gardens, which was probably around 15 to 20 minutes drive from our hotel. It is a historic house and was not a plantation. The house was owned by Edgar and Edith Stern. Here you can experience breathtaking views in all directions and it is so beautiful here. A lot of quiet moments where you can meditate, relax, and you know, just enjoy the scenery. And just a heads up, July is going to be pretty hot. The weather is going to be so humid. So you'll be sweating a lot, which is why I wore flowy and sundresses during this trip. So for me, I believe the best time to visit this place or New Orleans in general is during spring or fall when, you know, it's not too hot to walk around. And by the way, make sure to check out their website to plan your visit here. And after Longview House and Gardens, we went back to the French Quarter to walk around. We also went back to Café du Monde to enjoy more of their beignets and café au lait for one last time. Well, I hope I was able to inspire you to visit New Orleans, Louisiana. If you have more tips or tricks that you want to share, make sure to add them in the comment box below. You can subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and make sure to click the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I would post new content. Stay current on my travels. Follow me on social media. That's at Angel's Video Diary. Subscribe to my blog, MyPurplePages.com. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video video.